Today's video is about the internal time or regular time. We are not going to use it, but I'm going to show you exactly why uh, we don't use this feature. And by doing so, I'm going to start off by giving you the example. And I'm just going to go basically to a new uh, the current time sheet and I'll book a regular time that I open up to be available in here. In this case, I'll use the category that I open up the travel time. And as you can see, there's no start and stop time, so I don't have any true hours. But still, I can book my time, let's say Friday, and I traveled uh, an hour uh, to, to client. Let's save and close. Now, this is the way to book a travel, a time of one hour to your timesheet. The second option, which we prefer, is basically you go to the ticket and you use a true time entry and you kind of do the same thing too. In here, I'm going to do a time entry. I'm not going to change too many things, but here on the work type, this is where I can choose on the bottom the same thing too will be set up. You can see it in a different uh, video. We have travel as well on the same day, but now I can list that it was from uh, 1309 and I'll do it to 1409. So I make it the exact same hour too. Again, I say uh, traveled client. And I press save and close and I have an extra time entry of another hour in there. But now it's start and stop time. And the latter is the most important thing. Because when viewing this, uh, this uh, time sheet, let's see, we go to the refresh status. As you can see, I have those two time entries now here in this particular uh, item. You see the regular travel time and you see my travel time on the specific ticket. Both with one hour, so we don't have the exact details yet. When we go to uh, the report view, now I have my time in here. What will happen every time that you will do a time entry, it will have those start and stop times and you can see when it happened. For example, in this case, you would have the travel time from 1309 to 1409 and then you might expect a time entry starting at 1410 or 1450 maybe a little bit, but close to this, this time. My first time entry that I did during, during a regular time has just travel time, but there's no time. So I don't know when this one happened in the in the entire day but that's the reason why we say let's not use it now, where can you find those internal times you go on the admin finance and accounting and then you go to billing codes and then this, the third tab is internal time and as you can see here in this this grid we have a couple of internal times already here because you can use them for time off requests uh, that's for uh, example the holidays for example is a good one to uh, to be there on a time of request, you won't really use travel time, but this one is as a regular time available. So we're going to go here and say edit. And we uh, unblock this checkbox here. We say it's not available for regular time entries and we press save. By doing so, now I have this, this internal time. This is only available for your, uh, for your time sheets, for your time of request. So there would be vacation and sick time. Well, you don't really ask for sick time, personal time or holiday. And maybe you have uh, more categories, you can easily add them by clicking new and then say it's an internal time code. But by not activating that checkbox for display in regular time, by doing so, now if you would want to use a, uh, you want to do a, um, on your time sheets and you want to book some time, I have to go to current time sheet and I want to book a new regular time opens it up and you will see that on a category I have nothing available right now so basically by setting it up this way you prevent that your engineers can book time on your regular timesheet uh, so this way they can't use this feature meaning you have blocked them their ability to book the time with a way where there's no uh, start and stop time tracking now they have to book all the time uh, on a ticket or a task with a start and a stop time uh, but they still have those internal times available when going to the, the time uh, of request. I hope that uh, that makes sense uh, to explain uh, where to set up the internal time and how to use them. If you have any questions, you can go to our Facebook group and post your comment or questions there. Thank you.